Welcome to lesson 18. Be sure to check out the PowerPoint presentation for this lesson to make sure that you get more in-depth information on the subject and energy exercises associated to it. So let's talk about the hero's quest or hero's journey. The modern warrior hero's quest is to find himself or herself, to find his or her soul. As I told you in the squire level of training, master yourself, everything else takes care of itself. I summarize mastery the elements like this. Wind and water flow around. Fire and stone hold your ground. Mind and spirit holds and bound. The modern hero, Joseph Campbell tells us, the modern individual who dares to heed the call and seek the mansion of that presence with whom it is our whole destiny to be atoned, cannot, indeed must not, wait for his community to cast off its slough of pride, fear, rationalized avarice, and sanctified misunderstanding. Nietzsche tells us, live as though the day were here. It's not society that is to guide and save the creative here, but precisely the reverse. The hero's quest has stages, as described by scholars such as Joseph Campbell, the mythical quest of the hero is reflected in our order's three levels of training, it goes through uh, periods of separation, initiation, and return. This isn't about going back to old-time religion. Many people faced with the terrors and frustra frustrations of modern life try to turn back to established religions, seeking comfort and reassurance. They try to cling to what worked in the past, not realizing what worked 2,000 years ago no longer works in today's world. The world's great religions can no longer meet people's needs. As Joseph Campbell told us in his book, The Great Hero of a Thousand Faces, the world's great religions have become associated with the causes of the factions as instruments of propaganda and self-congratulation. So what we need to do is make myths. What we're doing here uh, can't, it is completely different. You cannot make the required changes by turning your back on the future or turning away from progress. You can't walk backwards into the future. Neither do you want to ignore the past. We're using ancient myths here to inspire us to make modern myth come alive. Now, part of the myth of Kahulan's journey uh, to Skya's island, one of the obstacles that he encounters is the perilous glen. This is a glen full of whatever thing he fears the most. And when you journey to Kair Palavin, this is back in Lesson 3, or the Pile of Mists, which is in Lesson 11, you may have encountered beings in the form of animals or guardians who stood between you and your objective. Guardians myth is full of monsters and guardians that come between the hero and the quest. Such frightening guardian figures are commonly found around Buddhist temples, for example. The ancient Celts used to take the heads of their enemies and display them around their sacred sites. It's another form of the same thing. We have a perilous glen outside our Karapalan in our astral temple. And what I'd like you to do now is create your own version of the guardians to go there. I want you to think of fearful things that you had to overcome to achieve your knighthood. I want you to come up with a symbol of those fearful things, and I want you to put that symbol outside the east entrance gate of Karapalan as a guardian. By placing symbols or avatars of your fears outside the gates, you're doing several things. You're leaving a symbol of your achievement for all to see. You're pop populating our perilous glen with fearful guardians that newcomers will encounter. No doubt many of them will recognize these guardians as they'll have identical or similar fears to face in their quest. Hopefully this will show them that they're not alone in facing such things. Also, you're reminding yourself of what you achieved and what you've got to watch out for. At the same time, these guardians will discourage any wannabes. So give that some thought. Think about something that represents your fears. Create a guardian. Put it out there in that perilous glen and go out there and be glorious.